Welcome to this video in which we will be making this knurled shape head. So first we will be making the chamfers, then we will perform the knurling and finally we will be making the threads. So let's begin. So at first click on file, then click on new, then select part and then click OK. Change this background to plain white. Select the top plane and then click on sketch. Select the circle here and make a circle at this origin. Make sure that you have selected MMGS as units. Now let's select this Smart Dimension tool in order to define the diameter of this circle. Let's make it 6 and then click enter. After that go to features, select extruded boss base here and extrude this up to 17 millimeter. So right here 17 and then click OK. Now let's define some material to this part so that it looks good. So this is fine. Select this face and click on sketch and make a circle here at the same origin. Now let's uh, select this Smart Dimensioning tool and make the diameter here as 11 millimeter. Now go to features and ext uh, select extruded ball space here and extrude it up to 2 millimeter only. Specify here 2 and then check this box. Select this face again and click sketch again. Select circle and make the circle at the same origin again. This time we will be making 8 mm uh, circle. So make this diameter as 8 and then again go to features, select extruded ball space again and extrude it up to 1 millimeter only. Specify here 1 and then check that box again. And now select this face again, click on sketch and make a circle here at this origin. This is the final circle. Specify the diameter by clicking on the smart dimension tool. Specify the diameter as 13 millimeter. And now let's extrude it one more time. Go to features, select extrude pause space again. And specify the length of extrusion as 7 millimeter. And check this box again. So now let's uh, apply some chamfering for that. Drop down this menu, select chamfer, and one by one select all of these edges. Select this edge, and then one by one select all of these edges. And then specify here 0 0.5. It looks better than check this box now. We are done with the chamfering and now it's time to make the knurling. So select this face here, click on sketch. Select the circle and make the circle at this region. Make sure that it overlaps the bigger circle and then simply exit the sketch. Select this face again and click on sketch. Make a circle here but this time at the chamfered face. Okay. And now select this uh, inner circle and make this as construction geometry. And do not forget to make it as construction geometry. Okay. After that, drop down this menu and select a center line. Make a center line from origin to the bigger circle. And then drop down this menu here. We need to select three points center rectangle. Select this face. Select this environment here and make this sketch now select this point and drag it up to this inner circle now press the control button on your keyboard select this point and then this outer circle and make this relation coincident after that just exit the sketch and then go to features here and drop down this curves menu and select helix and spiral. We need to select this outer circle here. 
for that select this outer circle sketch this one let me show you this blue colored outer circle has been selected and here specify the pitch as 30 and the revolutions are 0 0.25 and then we need to change the starting angle we want this angle to start from here so specify here 90 degree and here you can see the starting angle is from this point so until now we have defined these parameters and now select this counterclockwise and then simply check this box and now select this uh, swept cut command and in this box simply select this sketch and the other box we have to select this helix and then check this box so we are done with our first cut and now we have to make another one so select this face and click on sketch and make a circle here at this origin make sure it overlaps the outer circle and then make another circle but this time we are making the smaller one select this circle and make it as construction geometry like we have done previously now select the center line and from center to the outer circle make a center line and now exit the sketch then select this face again and click on sketch again and now select this three point center rectangle again select this point this point and make a sketch like this drag down up to the inner circle and then press the control button on your keyboard select this point and the outer circle and make this relation again check this box now select this more dimension and let's see what is the parameter of this 0 0.63 make the same parameter to this line as well 0 0.63 okay So now exit the sketch, select the outer circle and select this helix and spiral again. The outer circle has been selected this blue color and you can see the helix has been created. Specify here 0 degree, 270 degree because we want to start this angle from here this time select the clockwise direction after specifying these much parameters check this box so these lines should be meeting at this point which means that we have created clockwise and anti-clockwise directions so select the swept cut command and in this window we have to specify this sketch and then drop down this menu in the other window we have to select this helix and now check this box and the second cut which is in the clockwise direction has been created so two cuts in the opposite direction has been created and now we have to select this circular pattern command so in direction we have to select this face and here specify 10 So in this window select this cut and then select the other one as well and now we can change the geometry like this specify 14 and then click OK so knurling head has been created and now we are only left with the thread so hide these helix one by one there are two helix so now select the whole wizard and in the whole wizard select the thread click ok here and in this window select this face uh, select this edge and specify the thread select here up to surface and then select this surface 
here specify the thread again and now the thread will be appeared it will take some time the pitch is somewhat larger so make the pitch a little bit smaller this is more appropriate and the thread has been shown uh, let's delete this specify your uh, revolutions and here you can specify 14 12 and after that you can specify the offset as well so specify 1 mm offset here in the opposite direction and then click enter so we are done with this nerd shaped head so if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you